How many of you guys have already had Physics 2? Anybody? Cool, if you'd had Physics 2, this next discussion would be way easier. Sorry. <laughs> so if we look, part A at the very bottom, at the very bottom, it says how many moles of Mn will be formed if MnCl2 is electrolyzed for two hours using 10 amps. So T here equals time is two hours and your current, which technically is I, so is 10 amps. Okay. So in this case, what product are we trying to make in electrolysis here? Which one of the elements are we trying to make in this question? Manganese. So all I really need is the half reaction for manganese. What is the oxidation state of manganese in manganese chloride here in this case? Plus two, that's really manganese two chloride, right? And so in this case, the relevant half reaction is Mn2 plus is what we start with. And to turn it into elemental Mn, we need two moles of electrons. So what if I told you I was trying to make five moles of manganese? If I was trying to make five moles of manganese, how many moles of electrons would it take? 10 moles. It's one mole of manganese for every two moles of electrons. That's why I needed this half reaction. So if you get the charge on it, it makes it real easy to figure out the number of electron, moles of electrons needed to form one mole of that substance. But we need that half reaction. So here's the deal. An amp, an ampere or amp is a coulomb per second. If we had a big long wire and electrons were flowing through it, if I was able to, you know, if I had magic vision and I could see electrons and I was counting the electrons as they went by and totaling up the charge, the amount that passed by where I'm, my point of where I'm counting per second, the charge, that coulombs per second passing through the wire is amps. That's what current is. Current is electrons flowing through the wire. And so if you look here, if in every second we have 10 coulombs passing through the wire, well, then how many would pass through in two seconds? 20. In five seconds? 50. In 7,200 seconds? 72,000. Notice two hours, every hour has 60 times 60, 3,600 seconds. So two hours has 7,200 seconds. And every second, 10 coulombs passes through our wire, 10 coulombs per second. And so in 7,200 seconds, we could figure out that it's totally 72,000. So notice we're taking our 7,200 seconds, and we're taking our 10 amps, and finding out that we've got 72,000 coulombs of charge. OK, great. What's the charge on one mole of electrons? What's that? No, if you recall, that's what Faraday's constant was for. It gave us the charge in coulombs per mole of electrons. So if we have 72,000 coulombs here, do we have more or less than one mole of electrons? Less. We have about two-thirds of a mole of electrons. With two-thirds of a mole of electrons, how many moles of manganese could we get? One third of a mole, and whatever that weighs, great. That's the basis of our calculation that we're setting up here. The way this really works out, you start with your amps, and that's 10 coulombs per second. Multiply by the seconds, 7,200 seconds. And the question here is how many moles of manganese are we going to get? But then once you got the coulombs, you got to use the Faraday's constant to relate that to how many moles of electrons that actually is. And so in this case, one mole of electrons is 96,500 coulombs. So, and that will get your coulombs to now cancel. But now that you've got the moles of electrons, you know from the half reaction that you can get one mole of manganese for every two moles of electrons. And we're done. That's the calculation. Moles of manganese. Now, what if the question, instead of asking for moles of manganese, had asked for grams of manganese? What would I have had to do? Yeah, multiply by its molar mass, molecular weight, whatever you want to call it. 
So if we look here, unfortunately there's no equation for this. Nobody's, you know, coined it, at least not in your Gen Chem textbook. So you don't have an equation, which means it's not going to be on the front of your exam. So if you look, I gave you a couple equations, you might have to memorize them. But your amps times the time in seconds divided by Faraday's constant and the number of moles of electrons transferred equals your moles of product. So memorize that. But again, what would be the difference if I, instead of moles of product, I wanted grams of product? You'd have to multiply by molecular weight. So amps times time times molar mass or molecular weight all over NF equals grams or mass of product. And notice I'm specifically writing of product. That way if you got to plug in the molecular weight, it's the molecular weight of the product that you're plugging in. In this case it would have been just the manganese. Not the manganese chloride molecular weight, but just the manganese's molecular weight had we asked for grams. Cool. Questions? They're dimensional analysis problems, if you can do them. Some, a lot of students just memorize these things and get away with it there. Like if you notice the next question. The next question says, how long will it take to plate out one kilogram of aluminum from molten AlCl3 with a current of 100 amps? What's the question asking us for to solve for? T. Are we dealing with moles of product or grams of product? Grams. It's one kilogram of aluminum. But we're solving for T. And so in this case, one kilogram is how many grams? A thousand. That's 1,000 grams of aluminum as your product. And that's equal to, what's the molecular weight of aluminum? Well, if you had a periodic table in front of you, you'd see it's 27 grams per mole. The time in seconds is what we're solving for. And the amps here, what was the amps given as? 100 amps, so 100 coulombs per second. And then F is still 96,500 coulombs per mole of electrons. What is N? Well, what product are we forming? Aluminum. What are we forming aluminum from? AlCl3. What oxidation state does aluminum start out in there? Plus 3. So if we split this into a half reaction now, Al3 plus going to Al, how many moles of electrons are needed? Three. Awesome. And so that's why it's three moles of electrons getting plugged in right there. And here it's just all algebra to get your time. Can somebody get me a time? Seconds. And notice they didn't put any of the answer choices in minutes or hours or whatever, but there you go. So you can do this with dimensional analysis for sure. And if you've had physics too, so, or if this just inherently makes sense, awesome. I think that's the best way to do it if it makes sense. But notice it was pretty quick to plug and chug this if you had this equation. So, yeah, this is the type of questions you'd see. And again, the, the problem is, since these are nobody's like set equations, they're not going to be given to you. If you want these equations, you have to memorize them.